Is there still vehicles here? I'm at the police station, right? Before there was like a vehicle here. I did destroy it before though, right? I think. But I need to head to the opposite side. I think. Where am I going? I've actually discovered this place. Apparently there's some quests here. Yeah, this is where I'm going. I replaced the UI mod that I was using. The one with the massive boxes, dialogue boxes. Did not like that at all. I've changed it to a redesigned default UI, like New Vegas Remastered or something like that. I got rid of it today. It should just be the same as normal, but look better. I've also noticed the dog is missing. I don't know what happened to the dog. Maybe the dog has died. I didn't realize. Maybe dog can die, but wrench can't. I don't think she's going to tell me about a quest. I think maybe one of the dialogue options she talked to me about, about the Enclave, would have done it, but I slapped her in the face. <laughs> so I don't think she was uh, my help no more with that. Whatever it was. Okay, is it this building? Is it this one? Yeah, there should be some quests in here. So even with this UI mod, the load screen isn't fitting on the screen properly. <laughs> this is a little better than the other one. Hello? Anyone home? Yeah? Hello? Guys? Who is this? Locals? So Junk Flea supports the, the Legion now? When the fuck did that happen? Recently. Recently it did. Food this way. Maybe talk to this. Are you the receptionist? Cosmo. Welcome to the breach out. Reach. Mr. Breach has been expecting you. Is he? Yeah, this is different, right? So it very much looks the same sort of style, but it seems to have a bit more of a HD remastered look to it, right? These writing looks so much nicer. Can you tell me about this place, please? The Breach Outreach is the main proprietor of news in the Great Portland area. The company is owned and operated by its founder, Mr. Breach. Okay, this is a journalist newspaper, maybe? Is Mr. Breach through here? Intercom. Why is there an intercom? Greetings, I am Mr. Breach. Welcome to my castle. Oh. I assume you're here because of the ad. There was an ad? You need a courier, do you? Do you need something delivered? <laughs> Not exactly. I'll be brief. You've got quite a past, kid. And if it's true, then I think you have what it takes to be a reporter. You want me to be a journalist? Am I really qualified for this? I'm not very smart. Ah, you may not have a fancy piece of paper to back you up, but you've got experience where it counts. You know the wastes like the back of your hand, and you've dealt with all the major powers. Further, you'll go to any lengths to get what you want. The most important quality of any journalist. You'll have to start as a junior reporter, of course, but the pay is good, and you'll be doing Portland a great service. Okay. So what do you say, kid? You in? Sure. So this is what the quests are then, is it? Is it about rising to fame as a journalist? Count me in. Great to have you, kid. For your first assignment, I want you to speak to Paparazzi and Cooper on the second floor. Is that his real name? They're two of my <laughs> best reporters and they're in need of a helping hand. <laughs> Once that's wrapped up, speak to me for your next job. Over and out. His name is Papa Razzi. <laughs> I've been given a fedora. With great power comes great responsibility. The fedora? Does nothing. Okay, should we wear this while we're being a journalist? Right? Might make sense. Role play a little bit. Where do you want me to go for this? Upstairs, right? Okay, two journalists to help the elevators work in. Yeah, this UI is much better than the other one. Well, don't like that other one. Really did not like the big box. Why do people like that? That's like the most popular UI. Maybe it can be changed and I just don't know how. Come on, let's talk to Paparazzi first. How do I get to him? So these guys aren't in offices, they're in hotel rooms. Do you have a car in here? How did you get this through that small door? Did you assemble it in here? Maybe, I guess. This car is huge. Were cars really this big? Were they really this big? This is massive, mate. 
<laughs> uh, hey, what's up, new guy? Uh, ignore the shakes. I'm doing a story about chem addiction, so, you know. Uh, your name is very odd. Is that your real name? Yeah, it's not my real name. Mm -hmm. In the back wind times, people used to call the greatest journalist paparazzi. I keep the tradition alive. Where? Why would you want to be called that? That was seen as, like, not a nice thing, right? I mean, it's not seen as a right, nice thing now, is it? Apparently I can help you in some way. Yeah, I was actually about to come get you. Portland runs on salt, that's a fact. And all salt comes from Salt Town. Creative name, right? I've been there. The guy in charge is a man named The Foreman. Uh-huh. He's a recluse. He never leaves his office. Which means it's almost impossible to get a read on him. But you're about to change that. Yeah, he only leaves his office to beat people. How will I do that exactly? Check this out. It's a bug. Picked it up from P-Town before the ghost showed up. P-Town? You get this near The Foreman, and we'll know everything he does in there. You want me to, like, tap his room? Why don't you do this? I've got a bit of a reputation, and the foreman ain't exactly on good terms with us. They won't let me anywhere near the place. But you're new. You'll be able to sneak this bad boy in right under their noses. He does know me, though. Maybe I'm new here, but he knows me. Maybe that's a good thing, actually. It gets me through the door, doesn't it? Good job I helped him, right? Before. <laughs> Give me the bug. I'll see what I can do. All right. Just planning it in the building will be good enough. But if you can get it into his office, you'd be a legend here. Okie dokie. I can do that easily. I can just fast travel there, right? Let's just do that now. Uh, well, I don't want to hand this in. Do I, do I want to hand this in or do I want to work for the paper? I hold no allegiance to these guys, right? I can just put this in. He's already watching me. Who's sitting in your chair? Welcome back, comrade. Isn't this part of the uprising, Union guy? Why is he sitting in his chair? Is he acting like he's one? I handed these guys in. Ciao. This should not be like this. This guy has nothing to say to me, even though I helped him out. I can't plant anything in here because he's looking directly at me. <laughs> Did you not see that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter even if he is looking at me. Maybe he wants the place to be bugs because he's confused why there's some random guy sitting in his chair. <laughs> Papa, paparazzi. Why is this out of order? Maybe like a dead body in here or something. Shit. This is where Piers Morgan hires all his uh, tapped phone recordings. Oh, come on, I know it's here somewhere. Hmm? Nice. Hello? Where do you need this on the door to mark the toilet? Surely they know. Yeah, there is a dead body in here. Did they lock this guy in here? Who is this guy? Suitcase. Just money. Hey, welcome back. Hello. I bugged the office. For real? I thought the audio was pretty crisp, but damn, new guy, that's amazing. Mr. Breach is gonna flip. My name is Winkle. No need to call me new guy. Okay, he is done. Sure. Let's go help his friend. Who was his friend? Cooper. Okay, hello, knock knock. How are you, Cooper? Are you lost? Do you know where the toilet is? Does this help? The man in Lady Sign. What is this? Cooper's diary. Do you mind me looking in your diary? Uh, oh my god, I'm not reading through all this. F first and last entry. Normally most important. Okay, so finally leaving this frozen hellhole behind. The grey is my home and all. But a girl can only spend so many years in a frozen over metropolis like Van Can before she needs to set out on her own. Here's the sunniest guys. The grey? Okay, she's from somewhere called the grey. Uh, Blake hasn't checked in for a while now. I had hoped he would keep me updated on developments from the least front lines and the plague that's been reported in Irvington. But as it stands, we're in the dark. Do I know a Blake? Have I met a Blick? 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 So you're the freelancer Mr. Breach brought in. Oh my god. I can't say I'm happy or on the payroll, but it's not really up to me. Why are you wearing a suit? You've got no clients here. You know that, right? Was the other guy wearing a suit? I can't remember. Uh, I'm not a freelancer, lady. I work here. I'm a junior reporter. 
That's just what he calls the freelancers, to make them feel important. I'm sorry? What, what do you mean? I'm confused. You have work for me. Yes, I suppose I do. There's a town in Legion territory called Irvington. Uh -huh. It's a small hole in the ground, barely worth mentioning. Well. Or it would be, if not for the fact that it's about to enter a full-blown pandemic. Mm -hmm. People in that town are getting sick, and people who visit that town rarely ever come back. Something big is going down, and we need to find out what. Well, I've got big news for you. I already know. I was on the scene, under covering what happened there. Can I report back on this to you right now? No? I'll be back soon. One last thing. If you have time, ask around and see what else is going on. I already know. I completed Irvington. Can I just talk to you again? Quest as you come. See what else you can dig up in the town. Find Edward Blake. Uh, maybe that's why I recognise his name. Was he one of the guys I talked to there before? Possibly. Uh. It went into the tent flap. Oh, was he the doctor? Was he the ghoul? Or is he someone injured? Oh no, this is the dead guy here. Oh yeah, I remember him. Yeah, your pathos, that's it. Your brother was down in the lab who died, right? A scientist. Okay. Patient lock. The patient was brought in with numerous gunshot wounds to the chest. He was declared dead on arrival. The patient apparently tried to rob the general store. Uh oh. I, I'd killed the guy in the general store. <laughs> Wait, this isn't the general store. This is someone's home. Me confused. What did it say? Did it say something else? Sarah shot him dead. Was he a guard then? Oh, it's a she. She's taken a few of his personal effects back to her house. Okay. This person has some of Blake's stuff. Like, robbed his body after they killed him. Ooh, a key. Hello? Nobody's here. How did he know I just came into his house? I thought it said it was a she. Oh, it's this person. It is saying I'm hidden, though. Isn't it? Why is it still saying I'm hidden? Should I just talk? Hello. Hello again. Anything you need help with? I mean, that's a pretty nice way to talk to an intruder, isn't it? I expected a bit more angry voice than that. I am good. Thank you. Stay safe out there. I just want to take back things you stole from a dead body is that okay it's so dark in here why do you sleep on the floor get bed detected hidden Lex files oh you had files oh is this your reports what else you got in here why don't you sleep in this room were you sleeping in this room maybe you were okay ciao don't worry I'll leave you home uh, these files I can't actually read, they just come under MISC. So I just hand them over, I guess. Seem pretty legit, the people I'm working for, right? Do seem like just a bunch of journalists. And proper journalists at that. The first one bugging an office. Hello! You remind me of the other old lady in... the Nevada. She works for, like, Caravan Company. What now? Pretty much looks the same, except you're black and she was white. Because you're probably quite older than what you look really aren't you i guess unless you've just grazed earlier i have blake's files yes this is exactly what we need you find out anything else uh no <laughs> i didn't bother sorry <laughs> i mean i know what's going on there why don't i just like report on that don't be you can't be disappointed if you have no expectations you did the job at least i'll let mr breach know i suppose i could have questioned that lady whose house I was in. Why did they shoot them? Was it any different to what the doctor noted happened? May have been. Okay, let's go back to the intercom and report on a job well done. You have something for me, kid? Uh, I have something for you. No. I've completed my staff, if that's what you mean. Indeed, and might I say you far exceeded my wildest expectations. You've proven now that I can trust you. Okay. And that trust goes both ways. So allow me to apologize. I've been lying to you, kid. I don't need another reporter. I never did. Everything you've done was set up to test your loyalty. And you passed that test with flying colors. With that out of the way, 
Let's get down to business, shall we? Okay, this place is a lot more shadier than I thought then. Do I get to keep the fedora at least? Yes, you get to keep the fedora. Thank you, milady. How does doing just shitty grunt work prove my loyalty exactly? I can understand maybe the bug in the office because that sort of makes me do something a bit illegal, but the second thing wasn't, was it? I admit it wasn't the best way to judge your character, but the work needed to be done. I simply killed two birds with one courier, as it were. What do you want me to do then? Doubtless you noticed our fallen radio tower. No. It was blown off by some violent scabs at the start of this war. Since then, we've been running at only 40% efficiency, if that. We've been overclocking the remaining towers to make up the difference, but this method is unsustainable. Oh, you report on radio. The towers are about to reach their limit, and if they burn out, the breach outreach is done. Shouldn't you employ, like, an engineer to fix it? Why me? Like, I'm okay with my hands, I guess. What skill am I? Is it 50? Why don't you fix it, big man? What do you think we've been doing? We managed to fix most of it, but there are several critical parts we're missing. Okay. The parts were proprietary, and no one's making them anymore, obviously. But as luck would have it, we know where we can find more. A power plant at the edge of town uses the same parts. Oh. It should be a simple job, but if it was, you wouldn't be here. And the one with the robots? As it turns out, the place mm -hmm. is crawling with robots that shoot first and aim later. If Breach Outreach is going to survive, you need to head over there and bring back those parts. Yeah, no problem. I won't lie and say that it'll be easy. No, it will be. But you'll be well rewarded for your trouble. It will be easy. Though I say that, the last time I fast traveled there, the building had disappeared. It like glitched and it was like invisible. So that might be a problem if it's not come back. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. There's still time before the towers crash, so make sure you're prepared before you enter the power plant. And if you end up dead, rest assured that the breach outreach will compensate your next of kin. I don't have any. Over and out. I don't think. Unless there was some bullshit backstory with Ulysses, right? We covered the parts in the power plant, so what to do with the generator? I already turned it on, no? I turned it on already. Because the house up in the north west map, the well-kept mansion, wanted me to put power on. Okay, it's not the same power plant. Portland Poseidon Electricity Factory. Okay, why don't you get your power from over here? This power is on now. Isn't that like the same distance, pretty much? Just divert the power. Maybe the cables don't connect, I guess. Sure, we can go here. This is near where the unsafe harbour quest should be. Could actually see if that triggers while we're here. Though, I think if it does, we would be then side tracks. So maybe, probably not a good idea to check. Don't want to um, start something new, right? Though, I don't think it will. I don't think it will. It should have triggered before. I don't understand why it would trigger now or not then just seems to be broken i think or oh, it's because i'm legion i think it's because i'm legion like it wouldn't make sense right oh there's ghouls in here not robots is he sending me to the wrong place i have got the right quest on right yeah he sent me to one with ghouls in it not robots F fucking joker i'm a reporter guys can't you see my fedora i've come to ask about your life stories how did you become ghouls? Don't mind me, just using the computer, carry on killing ghouls. French. Four unresolved alerts. Nuclear detonation detected. Radiation shielding failure detected. Unknown persons detected. Backup security detected. No, nope, activated. Okay, that must be the robots. I guess the ghouls are people who used to work here. They are wearing sort of... Science laboratory coats by the looks of it. Is that what you wear at a power plant? Don't disturb me, guys. I'm looting. What's in here? Nothing. Hello? Are you shooting my spy? Oh, this is a robot. Okay. There are robots here. They're f fucking drones. What is that? Mutated feral ghoul? Okay, there's like a weird mix of enemies here. For some reason, the ghouls and the robots aren't killing each other. Oh, no, they are. Well, how comes you guys haven't cleared the place out already? Okay, they actually hurt those guys. A uh, gun. Need a gun. Hello? 
I swear he was. Oh! You teleport! Oh! Shit. Come here. Come here. Where did you go? Where did he go? I'll go back to tending my books. <laughs> Both my companions are dead and won't wake up. Where? We're good, guys. Good. Hello. Welcome back to the land of the li well, I would say the living, but there's actually dead guys in here. I guess we're going downstairs. So I didn't be active, it's locked. It's okay, I can unlock it. You don't need to go find the key. I guess you would have to otherwise. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba was this so? Project Kronos? What is this? The goal of the project is the creation of a sustainable dark matter power source. Uh, additional details, the power source known as the Singularity Generator is to be built within the Poseidon Energy Factory as per the agreements made redacted. Who could that be? In addition, several STRABRs have been placed within the factory in order to protect redacted in the case of redacted. Well, this redacted guy gets around a lot. The staff of the factory are not to be made aware of the project's true purpose or function. I guess it leaked wherever it was, causing ghouls. Project update. We've made substantial progress in the last few months, thanks in large part to Thomas... His contributions. Thomas the Tank Robot, was he here? So we're having a hard time getting a hold of him now. We've integrated the generator into the city's power grid and so far we have yet to experience any overloads or serious errors. Yeah, having trouble getting him because he moved to Sanctuary. There are some concerns about the potential risk of prolonged particle exposure, but we take the proper precautions and the radiation shielding on the upper level should keep everyone else safe, Ian. I mean, it didn't, did it? All in. Something's gone. Wrong? Radiation shield in. Sorry. Yep. What were you guys doing then? How am I meant to fix a dark matter generator? Isn't that a bit much just to power up some radio towers? Isn't there just a normal power supply source? Oh, they burst like bodies. Bit more than drones then, no? They blow up into blood. They're different to the ones in um, this base place too, right? Who is doing that? Hello? Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> danger. Still danger. There was a room. I want to see what's in here. Where was this? Here. I don't need to unlock the door. What does that say? Year 64. Everyone is dead. Monsters roam the halls. We kill them to protect this place. Some of us have given each other names. Some of us cover ourselves in cloth. I find this very strange. Are the robots becoming sentient? Maybe. Is that written by AI? Oh, combat armor. I might need to replace mine. Oh, these are nice as well. Well, oh, not that is another one there. <laughs> I don't like the sickness. Uh, well, how is mine? This is quite sustainable. It lasts a long time. They make these armors well. Everything else breaks really fast. I can repair that with this. Nice. Burp. 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 I've actually got quite a few arrows here. I don't know why. Uh. Oh. Hello? No? So that guy in the journalist place is a fucking liar, right? He wants me to, like, help with this dark matter thing? He must know what he is, right? He must know. The network, we're here with two. Okay, the plant. Oh, he wants the parts from here, right? And then, what, he wants me to go to the Derek's power station? I swear, if he wants me to turn that on, I already did it, right? I didn't need to find parts, because that would make more sense. Right, when he talks about 
the robot. So no, 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 no. I'm getting confused, right? He wants the parts to repair the towers. I don't need power. Right, okay. Sure. I would like to do something with this, though. Can I do something with this? More parts, just in a random cabinet. This looks like the same assets, actually, as Lonesome Road, right? The silos. There's the generator. More parts. Yeah, 160. Can you stop? I just want to read. Guys, that one had a name. Oh, they hit pretty fucking hard. Okay, so I can just return now with the parts. But I'm interested in these years. So year 64, it seems like they sort of just became sentient, did they? And then year 100 and something, what did that say? Uh, the same. Other than I have taken a name for myself, I've covered myself in cloth, I feel happy, I feel contented, I feel. And then, like a thousand years later, they still haven't formed proper sentences. I dream now, I imagine I'm human, that I'm alive. And then I wake up and I find myself screaming. Everyone is dead. They didn't really go very far then, did they? And they're like, progression of being sentient. Maybe it's because they didn't get out much. Right, what do I do with this? So much power. The generator hums with energy. Even hundreds of years later, the machine continues to run at peak efficiency. The console in front of you is connected to what's left of the city's power grid. You could use it to redirect all the power to breach outreach, boosting their signal range, or you could distribute the power evenly across the city. Alternatively, you can deactivate the generator and take its core for yourself, creating a power weapon in the process. Well, yeah, I'm not going to send it back to those guys. Why would I do that? I'm not going to just distribute it across the entire city. I don't care about anyone else. If it was, like, a send to a steer, then probably. But I want a gun. <laughs> Dark Mr. Fist. Oh, is it an unarmed gun? Damn it. Is it unarmed? My unarmed is shit. It is. DPS 53. Not bad value, though. I guess if I increased my unarmed, that'd be even better, wouldn't it? If it's already 53, my unarmed's like 20, right? That's probably pretty decent. You have something for me, kid? Uh, la, 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 la. I got all your radio parts. Here you are. Good work, kid. Cosmo will take the parts up to the construction team on the roof. Once they're done, I'll unlock the elevator to the third floor. Meet me in my office when that happens. Over and out. Okay, we get like a face to face meeting. Oh, fade to black? We're doing that now. What just happened? A thousand bottle caps? Is that just like simulating me giving someone the parts? Weird. Okay. The interview. Speaks to Mr. Breach face to face. This is where we find out he's like the elephant man. I mean, I can't really talk. I'm doing the same thing as him hiding behind the screen. <laughs> Not showing my face. Maybe at some point I will. Who knows? No, I prefer the... Immersion of not having a face cam. It also gives the imagination to everyone thinking I look different in... What the fuck? He is so small. This is why he's not showing who he is. Why are you so small? Well, if it isn't the man of the hour. <laughs> with those parts, the Breach Outreach will be able to broadcast till the end of time. All of Portland thanks you. No problem. More importantly, I thank you. Uh-huh. And I'm not done yet. I'm going to make you a star, kid. I'm already a film star, so why not my journalist star? Can I ask why you are so tiny? I'd like to know more about you. My friends know me as Thaddeus R. Breach. But we're not friends. You and everyone else in this building shall refer to me as Mr. Breach. My ancestors founded Radiation King, the company that produced all the radios and TV sets you see today. I suppose it was only fitting that I continue my family's legacy in broadcasting. Okay, but why are you so small? <laughs> no, you're not going to tell me. Okay. Right then. Maybe the furniture in here is just really big. It's making him look smaller. What do you want me to do then? You said you were going to make me a star? Did I say star? No, that's too small. You are going to shine brighter than the sun. Wait, are stars bigger than the sun? Who is the courier? Oh. Uh... Portland's never had a legend such as yourself walk its streets before. You're an enigma, and that brings with it a sense of fear. The last thing you or your masters want is a fearful populace. So here's the plan. 
we're going to put on a live, once-in-a-lifetime interview between you and the man himself, Bob Frost. Who's Bob Frost? The people will get to know the real you, and Breach Outreach will have interviewed a legend. Everyone wins. Yeah, that is until you edit it to make me look like a plonker. But who am I to say no to fame? Sounds good to me. When do we start? How about now? Frost is waiting for you in his recording booth. Just take a seat and the interview will start. Why don't you Over take a seat? Hey, just take a seat. I'm Chris Hanson. Oh. Is this the live audience? We only have one reporter in here. I'm so famous. We're not going to invite reporters around the globe. We're only talking through the intercom. Oh, right. They're over the waves. Right. I forgot their radio station. He's gotten up. He's not interested in me at all. Where's he going? Maybe he's hot. He's standing in front of the air conditioner. Welcome to the show, Courier. Any questions before we start? Yeah. Aren't you meant to give me like a set list of questions that you ask and my agent will approve? Are we going into this blind, are we? How exactly is this going to work? It's simple. I'll ask you some questions and you'll answer them. That's it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why are you hidden away? You've hidden behind the wall. Maybe that's how he talks to me through the air conditioning unit. You can thank one of John Walker's fangirls for all the security. Psycho bitch tried to slit my throat. And Walker actually blamed me for what happened. He said that, no, I'm not getting into this right now. Okay. Let's just begin, shall we? I don't know who you are. Welcome again, listeners, to the Oh, we're just going for it. Your main source of unbiased news. I'm your host, Bob Frost. Normally, I would read you the latest news, but today we have a special guest, the Courier of the Mojave. This is very impersonal, Bob. For all the listeners out there right now, I am actually talking to him through a radio. When I could see his face, if you would show it to me. My name is Rip Van Winkle. It is I. Ah, yes. Apologies. Mm Mm-hmm. Please continue with my real name. Let's start simple. Who were you before you became the courier? I was a package courier, thus the name. Let's be a bit honest here, right? Why do we need to lie? Really? A simple package courier with a tremendous skill for violence and diplomacy? Sure. He doesn't believe me. Hey, motherfucker, I'm telling you the truth. What are you trying to imply? I'm not implying anything. I'm stating rather plainly that you're lying. No, I'm not. One person goes from dying in a ditch to deciding the fate of nations in no time at all? Preposterous. There's something going on with you. Someone is backing you. We all know it's true, so you might as well admit it. Don't you see it's a plot by the Chinese? (laughs) You're lucky you're behind that glass, little man, or else I'd wring your neck. I mean, that's the best option here, right? We could just stay quiet, but then that's sort of admitting what he says is true. Stop being mean to me and sound like a little whingy bitch. I'm not some secret agent. No, let's threaten him. Go ahead, kill me. But everyone in Portland knows exactly who you are now. Why would I care about that? We're going to end the interview. Ah. Thank you all for joining us today. And thank you, Courier, for telling me everything I needed to know. Is that all? Did I mess up? I mess up the interview. Hey! How do I get in this room? How do I get in there? Okay, I think the furniture in this place is just really big, because this person looks small too. Right? I think he is just a normal sized man. I guess, do I, do I get in to him through here? Ah! Oh, this is his private suite. Oh, how did the hell do you get into the room with the radio guy? Hello. Big furniture man, not little man. I mean, he does look kind of small. No, he is small. No, he is small. Look at him. He is small. Where's this? New orders. What are your orders, little man? As always, the information you provided is of high quality, and so my financial support of your station shall continue. I do, however, have another condition in our arrangement. The courier of the Mojave has blazed a trail into the frozen heart of Portland, and they pose to change everything. Thing. Keep a close eye on them. Hire them onto your staff if you have to. Just make sure to report their every move back to me. Do this, and when the war ends, your debts to me will be paid in full. It is I. 
Oh, sire. I didn't write this. Fantastic work. The scabs will be talking about this for years. You liked that? You're getting promoted, kid. From now on, you're the Breach Outreach's field reporter. I still work here. That means you get a room here on the third floor, and you get to drive the Breach Outreach news van. I had Cosmo pull it up out front. So long as it doesn't leave Portland, you're free to use it as you wish. Okay, does it come with a tank full of gas, though? Because I don't have any. Yeah, that interview was a hit piece. You did not warn me. Two words. Journalistic integrity. Don't worry too much oh, about I don't, yeah, it. It'll I don't take more care. than some mean words for your legend to die out. I want people to fear me. You may want to be more careful with what you say, though. No, I don't. I don't want to be more careful with what I say. I chose my words very carefully, and they hit what I wanted them to hit. I just don't appreciate being bombarded, though, you know? What I don't appreciate is not being taken from my word. I told him I was a courier, and he disbelieved me. He thought I was a psycho, which he was true. And it's an honest point of view to wonder why a courier would be able to go on to do the things I have achieved. And to be fair, I kind of understand. <laughs> um, I thought you didn't need another reporter? I didn't, but you've earned a place here. Okay. So you don't have enough uh, assignment for me to do then, no? Look, kid, you're an ace, but I can't tie you down. Not when you're in the middle of all this. Are we done then? We write the stories, but you make them. Okay, thank you. It's about time you gave me something worth my time. You've more than earned it, kid. Over and out. Bye. I leveled up. Pa. What do I want? What do I want? I don't know. 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 Is there anything that I need? Let's get medicine up. 65. Uh, bam. Bam. Nice. Finesse. With the finesse poke, you have a high chance to score a critical hit on an opponent in combat, equivalent to five extra points of luck. I do need luck. Let's take that. My luck is shit. Outreach executive key. 640 bottle caps. Your van is waiting for you in front of the building. Why is that said so ominously? Is it going to blow up? The executive key. That sounds like it's more than just to the van, doesn't it? Oh, it's giving me a room. No? Oh. I thought he gave me a key for that, no? I swear he gave me a key for that room. It's not a room for his own, is it? No. Okay. I guess we leave. I don't know if that interview could have lasted longer if I wasn't so, like, angry. <laughs> Maybe, if I could pass some checks. It was a very short interview, wasn't it? I don't know why he got so scared, being behind his, like, glass room. How do I leave? Is this it through here? How, how do I get out? I swear I came... Is it this way? Okay, yeah. It's weird that the front door sort of just comes into, like, just like a, a plant, no? Shouldn't that be where the front desk is? <laughs> Oh my god, this van is a piece of shit. Is he actually gonna work? He left a bomb in here for me, is he? There's no fucking gas, mate! At least I've got a working car at the moment, I guess. Okay, let's go find somewhere else to go to. Stay classy, new base.